Hello, sisters and brothers. This is EVM, the DJ, the mastermind of truth and love. We're getting down now with a nail, real, real groovy message. Coming to you live from station WEBM. That's wonderful. It'll be Marcus. Operating smack down out of the top of the sky, right wherever you are. So I want you to sit back and relax. And get ready for this truth to flow over you like the wind. And remember at the end, like, comment, and subscribe. The message. A moment ago I just heard some commentary about this crisis on the border with immigrants. A discussion between, obviously, Democrats and Republicans. And I heard a Republican say that everything about this is ugly, everything about it is wrong. But the Congress can fix it. If Trump, who has the authority to go make a phone call, send a text, or whatever, and can change this policy right away, if he won't do it, then it appears that she says that the Congress could do it. And that includes Republicans and Democrats. And she can't understand why they won't. Now the question in my mind is, what advantage point is she speaking to? Because it appears though, if Congress is going to do it, they must say, well, we're going to make Trump a dictator. In other words, Everything that he wants, whether we as American people want it or not, we'll have to give in to it just to get these kids free. Well, I think there's something better that you can do about that. Change America. Change American policies. Make it a God policy instead of a devil policy, instead of an evil policy. Grant the basic, and I don't know why I'm saying to Congress, grant the basic human rights to the people, birthright, I should be saying to the people of America, claim your birthright. These were given to you by God. And everything that has been set up in this creation has been set up in such a way that you, the people, can experience your birthright. That's the only way for you to experience your dream. Now I realize it has been hijacked just as the devil hijacked Adam and Eve in the garden. You have been hijacked here in the world. And you are slaves. You are slaves to the enemy of your rights. You are slaves to the enemy of your creation. Yet you were designed in such a way that you could choose your birthrights or you can give them up. America like the rest of the world, have given up their birthright. And all of this turmoil that comes on the side and in the middle and all around is a result of not knowing who you are. I take this moment to say to you in this truth, you are a wonderful, magnificent creation. You are a child of God. You are a child of everlasting life. You are a child of everlasting love. But you must know this. And you will have to claim it. And to claim it means to walk according to the dictates thereof. And the results of that will be that everywhere that God is denied will become obvious to that this is not just a light on the hill, this is a light on the world. And there might be those that will envy it. That will be those who will come and try to lie and dictate and all that other kind of stuff to destroy you and bring you down. But as long as you can keep in your heart that the love of God is why you move, why you breathe, and why you are. And that to understand that means to love others as you love yourself, regardless of what they think and how evil they might be. And you can never lose. Your dreams will be met, and everything that comes to destroy you will be destroyed itself by itself. I give you this truth, and I hope it means something to you. Until next time, bye-bye.